I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. It was early 1961. Brand new President Kennedy had a rough start. One of his first major decisions was to challenge the American people to send humans to the moon. He challenged us to do it, but he didn't say how to do it. The first thought was they would build a huge rocket and they would use one big giant spacecraft. And that would have taken a huge expenditure and a rocket so much bigger than anything that had ever been built before. So there were some alternate plans. One was Earth Orbit Rendezvous. You would have to use two very large rockets, have them meet together in Earth orbit, and assemble a spacecraft to go to the moon. The problem was that you would have to take a huge spacecraft or a spacecraft with enough fuel to land it on the moon and then take off and come back. There was a more clever, although a little bit scary way to do it. Lunar Orbit Rendezvous involved one rocket to send a specially designed spacecraft into orbit around the moon. The advantages were so tremendous as far as weight, efficiency, and engineering simplicity that the decision was to use this mode to get to the moon. So you have this three-part spacecraft, lunar module, service module, command module, and orbit around the moon. The lunar module is modular itself. It has a descent stage, that's the bottom, and it has an ascent stage, the part where the astronauts live. It has enough fuel and a very important engine so that it can lift off and bring two astronauts back up from the moon and rendezvous and dock again with the command module. When the command module and service module gets close to the Earth, the service module is jettisoned, and the only thing that comes back is the command module with the three astronauts. 